When it's someone that you've loved, the lens with which you look at the story is completely different because it's not a story, it's your life. That was a gorgeous day. It was one of those Indian summer kind of days when you're still holding on to the beauty that's around you. We were hearing all the noises of harvesting happening in the fields, but still in the midst of that, it was warm and beautiful. We walked down to the bus stop with the kids and he kissed them and said that he loved them. I didn't understand the scope of what was going on until the police came to my door. They said that Charlie walked into the schoolhouse, that he held the girls hostage. You know, he shot them and that five of them died before he shot himself. You know, to know that the man that walked down to the bus that morning and kissed his own kids and said that he loved them, was capable of hurting someone else's children, was unfathomable, yet there was no way to say that it couldn't happen because it just had. You know, my son that was five, he was outside playing in the backyard. The windows were open, the breeze was blowing in, the sounds of their laughter and playfulness in the backyard, and I just soaked in that moment thinking, is this gonna be the last time I ever hear this? In a matter of minutes, I'm going to have to shatter their world and tell them something no parent would ever want to have to say. And am I ever going to hear them laugh again? And so I drew them in. We just sat there together um, in the silence of that moment, almost as if we were quiet enough the world would change. But it didn't. I had never known a place of desperation like that. There was nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. There weren't any real answers. I mean, I was being looked on by the world to give some kind of answer, but for me, there was no one to go back to except for the Lord. In those very first moments, I had stood in my living room and kind of looked up at my ceiling fan as if I was looking up at the Lord. I had a choice. I could either choose to believe that God was everything He's ever told me that He was, everything I'd ever read in the Word or been taught in Sunday school or heard someone else say, or I could choose to believe that all of that wasn't true because if it was, then none of this would have happened. And while I was faced with the reality of those two completely different alternatives, I knew that I had nothing to lose by throwing myself upon the Lord and clinging to Him. And so as I stood there, I just put my arms out and felt very much like Mary saying, let it be done to me according to your will, God. Whatever you can do that's beautiful out of this situation, and whatever place you can bring redemption, and whatever way you can make victory, God, do it. It doesn't matter what your circumstances are, God's in the midst of them and He can take the most broken, uh, destroyed situation and bring beauty and life out of it. <laughs>